Hi everyone, here is our math problem for today. Are these two radical expressions the same? Letter A, we have the square root of the square of negative 9. And letter B is we have the square of the square root of negative 9. You can pause the video and see if you can simplify and answer the question. Are these two radical expressions the same or not? Again, let's talk first about the common error. Many are tempted to perform it like this. When you have the square root of the quantity of negative 9 squared, you saw that there is a square root and there is an exponent. And so, you just cancel them out. Again, this is wrong. What's the reason? Notice that you have here two operations that are both exponents. You have the inside exponent 2 and you have the outside exponent 1 half. Because radical is a fractional exponent. So the right way of doing this for letter A is when you have the square root of the quantity of negative 9 squared, we are going to convert this into exponential. So we copy the base, negative 9 raised to the second, all raised to exponent 1 half, because this square root means fractional exponent 1 half. Then by order of operation, when you have two exponents like this, a nested exponent, you perform the calculation in the inside term first. And therefore, the square of negative 9 is negative 9 times negative 9, which is positive 81. And then you raise that to exponent 1 half. And this is just the same as the square root of 81. And the answer for this is, of course, 9. So for letter A, the answer is positive 9. Now let's talk about letter B. Now for letter B, you have here the square of the quantity of the square root of negative 9. So clearly, we have here a square root of negative 9, which is a complex number. We can write this using the imaginary unit i as i times the square root of positive 9. That is now equivalent to the square root of negative 9, because this i is the square root of negative 1, and this negative 9 is negative 1 times positive 9. Then copy the exponent 2. From the power of a product, we raise both of these factors to exponent 2 to have i squared times the square root of 9 squared. i squared is negative 1. In here, we are after the principal square root of 9, which is positive 3, and raising that to 2, that is positive 9. And negative 1 times positive 9 is negative 9. Therefore, letter B is negative 9. So to summarize now, the first one is equal to positive 9, and the second radical expression is equal to negative 9. So they are not the same. So thank you very much, and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.